Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, Adobe Color Picker Power Tips. All right, you might think that there needs to be a tutorial on the color picker apps of freaking lootly. And I'll tell you that because I watch people who are new to the color picker. And the first thing that, that is hard to understand just about picking color is there are three things to pick primarily in, in the uh, hue saturation lightness uh, or brightness model of things. What's the hue? How much saturation of that color is there and how bright that color is. And then you can also be picking CMYK and others and, and YUV. But the bottom line is you have to pick three. And I've watched a lot of people stumble with the Adobe Color Picker. The other thing is it's not the same in each application. I didn't, I'm not going to show you everyone, but I'll show you the Color Picker in Premiere Pro, which I think is the best, uh, Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator. Let's have a look. So in uh, Premiere Pro, if you're going to create a title um, and you're filling the, the uh, title with color, over on the right hand side, uh, you'll get a little swatch to click on or an eyedropper. And when you click on that swatch, it opens up the color picker. And the first thing you'll notice um, is the default setting on the letter H, which is hue. And what that's doing is it's changing the hue. It actually changes this bar to change the hue. And if you grab the bar itself, you can move that bar up and down. And what you're doing is you're not changing anything else except the hue. You're not changing the saturation, you're not changing the brightness. Now when you do move this, you'll see other changes occurring in the other models, whether it's RGB, YUV, or hue saturation and lightness. And you can see as I'm changing it, the YUV is changing in all three numbers and the RGB is changing in all three numbers also. So what you might not know is that, and of course you can move your mouse into this area and click and pick different colors. But what I find hard, uh, some people don't understand, well, first of all, that they can move this um, or that you can click on this area. So now I'm just changing the saturation and I can move this and change the saturation. So if I pick a color, I'm gonna grab the eyedropper, go into my uh, preview area and click on his suit. And now I've picked the color of that suit, I could saturate that blue. So it's the same as that blue, but it's more saturated. Or we could pick the um, original color of the um, title. So I can click on that title and I can change the brightness of that. So let's say that I wanted to keep it red, but a little less bright. So I could, or uh, uh, brighten it up or darken it up. I'm just changing those. I could also start picking just based on red, green, or blue. So now I'm only changing the blue value in there. The other cool thing is, and of course I can do that through hue saturation lightness and YUV colors. But what I think is really cool is that You'll notice that these numbers in Premiere Pro, and Premiere Pro likes to indicate what you can change by giving you the number blue. If you move your mouse over one of these, it will change to the little hot text, which is the hand with two arrows. You can actually click and drag this. Oh, look at that, that's pretty cool. So I can go over to the U value, the YUV, and start moving that. And you notice as I change that, because I'm over here in the hue value, I'm changing the U value in the hue model. I could also go to the U model and I could change the hue and show you what that looks like inside there. So I think that's pretty cool, um, being able to isolate certain axis of the colors that you change. Now let's go look at Photoshop. So here's the color picker in Photoshop and you'll notice there is no YUV being uh, primarily a, a, a video color, but you'll see the introduction of CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And look at that. It's not over the numbers themselves, but over the letters cyan, magenta, and black, you can actually change these by dragging it up and down. That makes it pretty cool, right? And if you add the shift key to this, it will jump up and down pretty quick so I can get to 100% black. I could also drag down here to 100% black, 
but you may notice something that when I drag, I'm at 100% black, look where 100% black is. It's not all the way down there. It was somewhere up here. Much easier to do. But you can also do what I was showing you in Premiere Pro, which is we can choose either model and change that model there. The, the scrubbing of the numbers, the hot text does not work um, over here on the left or the top in LAB colors, but it does work in CMYK. All right, let's go look at Illustrator. Illustrator is even more different. Uh, we get no sliders, no hot text at all. You can enter the numbers you want. You can obviously click inside and change these numbers, uh, but you can also isolate them inside here. And let's have a look at InDesign and see what InDesign does. Now here's InDesign's, which is again, uh, yet another different one. Um, all of these are also giving you these hex values here. So you can uh, choose to have these as uh, just art, uh, web colors if you want. Uh, but there's no scrubbing, no hot text, but you can change into these models and look at the colors. So you see why you need a tutorial just on the color picker? Because it's different in every application and there are some really cool features. I really love the color picker in Premiere Pro. I will choose that one over the default Microsoft or on, on uh, OS X on the Apple color picker because I think it's much more powerful. All right, thanks again for everybody who's supporting Video Revealed. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to Video Revealed, then please subscribe. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you picking the right colors and looking your best. Thank you.